cockpit. Don't want it to get stuck here. Do you ever find your cockpit stuck in a place you can't get it out of? Try all new laser cockpit gone. From Shady Power Tools. Hello there, cutters. Welcome to Night's Arcade. We're playing Hard Space Ship Breaker. When you left me, we hadn't quite got enough furniture done to go up to the next rank. So we are, actually. I was going to kind of skip this for you guys and go on to the next thing, but I thought maybe, you know, maybe it'd be nice for one or two of the viewers out there at least to kind of watch us climb through the ranks. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to do this which has got like eight percent of its resources are furniture so that's quite we'll easily go up to the next rank this time um and we can probably do it before we even come back out into the yard for the second shift to take this ship down so let's claim this ship and go and get to work cutting it down danger will robinson Right, we're pretty the range on the grapple. I mean, that sort of make a lot of difference to this. I could have grabbed that from there, I think, with the old one, but... Improve the range on the grapple. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. There are the nacelles. They are anchored once again from the um, outside, so that's easy enough. Let's burn through that. Whee! Burn through that. We down to the barge you go. And also ye Warning. Fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are available. Salvage is secure. Oh look at that, that. yes, yeah, see. Of course, I didn't refill my thruster fuel from the last time, so you know, we, I'm, maybe there'll be thruster fuel inside. I guess I'm gonna have to hope so. Levels dropping. Well, I mean, if not, I'll just go back to the hab. It's not, a, it's not a big deal, but but it'd be nice because Your quite often, quite often I find these ships with a ton of thruster fuel that I like never use because. And of course, since I need thruster fuel, there isn't a skerrit of it in here. Okay. Pick up that medical kit. Repair kit. Oh, there is thruster fuel. Look, there we go. Look, we don't have to go back. Fuel levels restored. There we go. Repair kit. Repair kit. And we got O2 there for when we need it a little bit later on. Right, so, first things first. I almost forgot. Almost forgot to. Almost forgot to depressurize the ship. That could have been unpleasant when I started cutting through the floor and everything got blown out into space, including me, couldn't it? Airlock pressure levels dropping. Fun, fun, on the burn. Right. No, the light can't. Light can't see all the way down there anyway. We Steady myself. Burn through my hand. Protected by my super strong magnetic Lynx gloves, which are obviously... Oh, I'm stuck. Well, that's... That's not ideal. That is not ideal. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm not. There we go. Now I'm free. Okay. Well, that costs us a little piece of time, but never mind. Oh, don't want to be careful of the seat. Okay, there we go. There's the floor. Whee! And there goes the other floor. Right. Let's get you guys out. One. Two. 
two. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. We let's take the roof off. That wasn't a cargo hatch, was it? I didn't even check. We should be careful doing that so close to a, a soft crate. I shouldn't really have done that, but... There we go. Get that. Let me just pull that soft crate off the roof, because otherwise I'll forget. I'll end up throwing it into the processor or the furnace or something. Okay. Right, well, this first one went over there. Good stuff. Caution. Tether supplies running low. Uh huh. Well, I'll tell you what then. So, what we'll do then, helmet lady. We're just gonna. Whoop. We're just gonna send that over the slow way. There we go. Find its way there. Tether supplies are running low, apparently. No, you know. Right. These doors can be a bit of a pain in the ass. There we go. Ow. Yeah, see? I got hit in the face, but it's all good. It's n nothing to worry about, really. Wee. All right. Took the roof off, so... This time, let's try not to make such a mess of this as I did the other day when I was doing this whole thing. That's not what I want to do at all. That's what I wanted to do. Right, okay, so. Let's dislodge all these chairs. Try and get most of them into the middle there and send them down towards the barge. Salvage secured. Account credit there we applied. go. New certification level has been achieved. License level increased. License level has been increased. Isn't that lovely? There we go. Let's remove all the chairs from the walls. There we go. And you can... Oh, go down there. I think I might have lost that one. Oh no, it might be alright. Right, there we go. Let's cut this cockpit away. Cockpit. Don't want it to get stuck here. Do you ever find your cockpit stuck in a place you can't get it out of? Try all new laser cockpit gone. From shady power tools. Right. That should be pulled away now, I think. Get a bit of a tether on it. A bit of a tether on there. Pull it away a bit. I mean, I don't need to get too far away, do I? But that's probably good. There we go. That's probably just. Your oxygen reserves are dropping below of course. profitable levels. Yes, well, your concern for my safety is really touching, helmet lady. There we go. Oh, that's weird. No power cell here either. Really odd thing to find. Boom! There we go. Right, let's go and get that O2 canister, which was in here. Oxygen level stabilizing. Wee! Well, that's grand. Thank you very much. Oh, that door's doing the jiggly thing again. Why does it do that? 
It does do the jiggly thing again. What do I do? Make it stop. Valuable object process. For God's sake, make it stop. So, here we go. Uh, more chairs. More chairs than we know what to do with. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. We. Right, so, like, there's no... Right, so that cockpit is not attached to anything. There is no power cell anywhere. Right? I'm not going mad, am I? There's no power cell. They're all computer things. That is the power junction box. But so there's no power cell. So why is this... Why does this stuff always go mental? Maybe... Should I pull the should I pull these off first? I pulled the power junction box off first, I think, last time. I don't know. Sometimes, I mean, bear in mind that this game still is in early access. It's not even on full release yet, so sometimes these things just go a bit crazy on you, and there's no real understanding of why that is the case. Got about five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. But maybe. Thank you, Weaver. Maybe I should just always remove these before the power junction box. Well, I clattered that against the door there. I don't know if that made a difference. We'll see. Because that's got that's got three stars. Okay, there. Right. I need to start making. So you see, I don't know if I explained this before. So you see, you can see the whole. Yeah, see, so why, why is there a... I don't even know what that's there for. Look, that's now got zero... That, we've now boggered that. I've just knackered that junction box. And probably that. Oh, no. The atmospheric regulator is still okay. It is still all right. Oh, utility key there. Probably won't need it, but you know. Don't think I don't think it's necessary in this particular ship. I see what's weird about this one. There only seems to be like anchor points. The the anchor points are uneven. There's not an even number of them, which is kind of weird. It's kind of strange, don't you know? Right. Wait. Let's get rid of Fella my lad there. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Wee. Oops. Got smacked against the side a little bit, but it's good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Credit deposited. We are fine. Well, thank you very much. That's nice to know. Work order is now complete. Isn't that nice? Oops. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, that wasn't going to work for really, was it? It's actually kind of a stupid thing to do since I've got to remove the thruster cap first anyway. And the thruster. That was mighty dumb. You can, by the way... Oop. Sorry. I just... You can use the jacks around the shipyard there to pull the ship back to level again, but so far I haven't actually ever found any reason to do that. There's no real... It doesn't really hinder me a great deal that the ship's off kilter. I mean, two-dimensional thinkers, I guess, might be a bit hampered by it, but I, I think most of us can think our way around these zero-G problems these days. Right. Oh, I don't want to blow the back of the ship off yet because it's got fuel tanks attached to it. That's... Oxygen reserves are low. Oh, wait. Now, I've got no tethers. 
I've got to go back over here. Hello, let me in. Welcome to Ventron 9000. Oxygen level stabilizing. One minute left, Cutter. Time to start wrapping things up. Hi. Thank you, Weaver. Let's take that ceiling off before we go in. Let's just get rid of that and then we'll go inside for the day. Alright, I don't there's not a lot else that we can do here really. So valuable object process. Credit Let's take that off. Whee! There we go, and we're back in at the end of one shift. Having made 1.7 million So now we've upgraded the license, so our license upgrades include one modular laser cutter upgrade, which we've unlocked for purchase. That doesn't mean we've got it, obviously. Two handheld utility grapple upgrades, uh, a thruster upgrade, two cross spectrum scanner upgrades, a helmet upgrade, a work suit upgrade, and ship class three certification. So the next ship that we do after this one can be a class three vessel. So that will be nice, won't it? Won't that be nice? I think I actually managed at least to salvage all the computers that time, but I should have looked really, double check. No, I don't want to start shift. Let's check the equipment. Come on, I'm really like, I need to sort the heat thing out on that really. Burning through repair kits, keeping that thing going. So the, so the cutter upgrades we've got, we can increase the range of the split saw. That would help us to get rid of stuff like the airlocks because it, the, it will increase the cutting range of the split saw. So we won't need to keep moving up a little bit further and cutting a bit more and so on and so on. Uh, grapple strength is a handy thing. Tether amounts is a very handy thing indeed. Um, I don't, again, no thruster upgrades I'm not really interested in. Scanner range. Pfft. Now we can scan the systems on the inside of the ship, but that's 450 Lynx tokens that's going to require to do that. We can upgrade, we can get the O2 recharge, but that only recharges when in an atmosphere. Um, it's, that's while in a pressurized environment. Okay, so that doesn't really help a great deal but I think if we go for the laser cutter or maybe the grapple so I want more tethers that's for sure so we get that and we'll stick it at that for the moment and then we'll go back into the yard and finish off this beastie I haven't seen, I've got to say that so far I haven't seen, I mean these are early ones but even when I've been on the next level I haven't seen the amount of ship variation I kind of would have hoped for but that is apparently being added. So these these are all things that they're working on including apparently I found out yesterday they actually are working on um, the ability to sort of move around inside your habitation module is actually being added so that's nice. That's nice, isn't it? Hey. So I, mm, I don't think we're gonna mess around with the cockpit today because, like, we just want to get this next class of ship. I think. So I'm guessing there is still a power cell somewhere on this ship. That would be my guess. Is there? That looks like a power... Is that a power cell? No, that's just a door console. What is that? Power cell. There you go. So there is a power cell. Still aboard the ship. 
So I destroyed the glass, but which I didn't do last time, but that's not worth a great deal, so you know, I'm not all that concerned with it really. Ow, just got hit in the face by a piece of molten metal. That's not nice. Whee! I love that breakaway. It's like it's actually weirdly I find that to be quite a good feeling in this game. <laughs> that sort of the breakaway when you've cut those away is really I find it really satisfying. Valuable object. Credits awarded. We and around to the other side. Oh. Account credit applied. Oh, I don't like that. That's gonna rip that fuel tank off if I don't sort this out. So let's sort this out, shall we? Wait, first of all, let's get that one under there. That's that's the tricky blighter. So that okay well they should actually all have broken away but I guess they haven't well they have but they haven't actually they don't look like they're moving so there's no reason that should still be attached at all so just pull that in there and it should just pull away There's one. Two. Valuable object process. Credit awarded. And one. Three. I know, as I've said before, I know you can kind of daisy chain those together. But with the tethers at this strength it doesn't work all that well. Sometimes you can pull it off, sometimes not. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Let's get rid of that power cell. Right, now I have to remember what I did and what order I did it in with the other thing, because maybe I can pull off this atmospheric regulator before I remove the power junction box. Yeah, that seems to work fine. Salvage secured. Account credit okay. applied. Power junction box. There we go. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. All right, so let's get rid of the back end here. Pull her away. Oh, I might clip the edge of the ship a bit there. So here's the thing I don't often do. I don't often cut this thing in half, which I guess I probably could. to send some of that so that we could get this this bulkhead here out of the way it doesn't seem to want to go wow no it doesn't want to cut free maybe it will now
All right. Material deposited. You know, there's not a lot in it, is there? But all right, should we just try and get this thing free again? Because I mean, I do think it helps. Every little helps, and since we're already out here for the duration of the shift. I don't I honestly know what happens if you go in early. I've only been in like a minute early. I don't I've never noticed that you like they compensate you for having done less than a shift. Carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Thank you. Helmet lady. She loves me. Helmet lady loves me really. She just pretends that she does not care. That's because that, that is what Helmet Lady does. She likes to pretend that she doesn't care about me. Probably makes her look good to the bigwigs upstairs. But the truth is, I am loved by Helmet Lady. Oxygen reserves are critical. Affordable oxygen supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. I know. And here I am. Welcome to Visitor on 9000. Oxygen level stabilizing. And then we're going back now. So it's broken that away. And then this thing should be. Oh, I didn't get either one of those. So... Okay, there we go. It's broken through that cross beam. Look at that. Free as a bird. Don't need a tether for that, I don't think. Ba -ba -ba. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Right, so that shouldn't be held on anywhere there, should it? It should all be good now. Yank that away to the processor there. Yep, there it goes. There she goes. What about this door panel? Might as well. We've got five minutes left, so. All right. I know. Knock out that work order before they turn the lights out on you. I'm knocking out the work order. For God's sake, Weaver, chill, will you? Oh, get rid of that bit of litter. Run that a bit. And what is that? That's a door console. Well, oh, yeah, I don't see that. Read it up and probably just forgot. Raw material Bounce. processed. Credits deposited. Hey, there we go. That's a lot of aluminium. We just got rid of there. Wee. And pow. Oh no. Oh look at that. <laughs> right. Have I left anything spinning around here apart from that? Don't think so. Come on. Whee, there we go. And I think we are good. Uh, 
There we go. Enter habitation module. Yes, please do that. Do that thing. Enter the habitation module with its permission, of course. Door console, glass, light. Destroy two door consoles. And that always happens. I don't get them all. Just aluminium structure. Titanium. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Work order. Oops. Work order review. Okay. Nice. There we go. Look at that. So we broke down another ship. So now what we should be able to do is no to view the ship catalog and we can see now we can get grade three ships mackerel 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 i mean these are all mackerels so they're grade three mackerels not you know as opposed to geckos which are like uh, another class of vessel so far and they're planning to add other classes of vessel as well is the whole plan but you know we're going to do that we tackle that next time Next time on Hard Space Shipbreaker. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything there really desperately needs repairing. Have I got any... Did I... Oh, yeah, we, look. I actually recovered a, a drive. That's nice. Bing! 190 LG now. Gotta love those Lynx tokens. Oh, look at that. Tug crew deorbiting asteroid 565 Keats to the surface of Mars to be mined. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Transcript. Cool. Right, I'm not going to read that out. So, that is it for this episode. Next time, we're going to start on something a little bit bigger. So we do a ship that's a, uh, just a smidge larger the next time we're in here. Um, but until then, you can follow me on Twitter at knights underscore arcade. As I always say, you know, come on, join in the conversations there. Uh, we're always talking about games coming up, games in, in the immediate future and games like further away a year from now, two years from now, whenever it is, whenever we get this kind of news. Uh, you can, if you want to, catch up with me on my live streams every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. Um, this Saturday, I believe what we're doing this Saturday, I hope, Anyway, if it all goes well, is we're going to do... I'm going to get a couple of my subscribers in, and we're going to do um, Grounded. So we're going to form a sub-team in Grounded and check out that game. If I can't get a team together, I'll check it out on my own. It's no no big whoop, no problem, but I don't think I'm going to have any problem finding teammates for that. Lots of people want to play it. Uh, and if you have Game Pass, of course, you can, for no extra cost. Um... You can find the link to my live stream in the video description, along with links to the Knights Arcade Facebook page, the Knights Arcade Patreon account, and uh, the Discord channel. So if you want to join in with my community and you don't fancy going into the live streams, jump on into our Discord server. We've got a nice little community of lovely folks in there. You can chat to people in there about games, about the channel, or pretty much whatever you want to, as long as you keep it clean. Uh, if you don't want to do any of those things, of course, but you like this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and ring the notification bell to be notified every time I post new content. But until next time, from Night's Arcade, this is Sleepless Night, saying nighty-night. <laughs>